platform. Hello, everyone. I'm Kira Finardi, and this is Ramon Ortiz. We're both from the Federal University of Espírito Santo in Vitoria, Brazil, and uh, we are very happy to talk to you today about part of our project, still ongoing, uh, which is related to the Yes3D project um, promoted and coordinated by Ana Sevilla uh, Pavon. Uh, in our case, um, uh, the project we're going to present is um, uh, part of an ongoing work that has been developed and motivated by the YES3D project, and uh, which in Brazil is financed by FAPIS. And what we're um, aiming to present to you today is the interface between innovation and internationalization of higher education and the possibilities for knowledge transfer to small and medium-sized companies in our case, focusing on sustainable development goal number four, which is related to the quality of higher education. Next slide, please. Um, before we actually uh, delve into our project and uh, describe our project to you, it is important to acknowledge uh, the motivation and the start of, of all this, which was, um, uh, like I said, the YES3D project, whose aim is to investigate the role of uh, three-dimensional virtual uh, realities in context of international virtual exchange uh, between university students of languages uh, for specific purposes within the framework of the training processes of future professionals in the business world. Um, in uh, the case of this project in Valencia, focusing on social entrepreneurship based on the sustainable development goals. And um, before we uh, talk about our end of the project uh, with the FAPIS financing and support in Brazil, I'm going to ask uh, Hamortis to talk a little bit about his um, uh, research, uh, his master research, which motivated our project in Brazil. So over to you, Hamon. Thank you, Kiria. And hello, everybody. And thank you for the opportunity to talk a bit uh, about the part of the motivation for this project here in Brazil. Well, uh, part of this uh, motivation uh, started with my uh, master work, which was about the internationalization process of small and medium-sized uh, companies. And more specifically about the factors that could affect these uh, processes. Uh, and the uh, result of this work uh, shows a uh, theoretical uh, model uh, with 34 factors that could affect the internationalization of the small and medium-sized uh, companies. Uh, factors that were divided in three uh, dimensions. Um, um, by the way, the, the, the small and medium-sized uh, companies are uh, the the ones that suffer most with the scarcity of uh, resources, uh, financial resources, human resources, uh, tangible uh, resources, etc. Uh, uh, well, about the dimensions, the first one is uh, related to the company itself. Uh, uh, the second dimension uh, is related to the manager of uh, this company. And the third is related to the uh, factors that uh, could affect the internationalization uh, process of the company when it comes to the environment that uh, companies uh, face when they decide to go international. So uh, from this uh, theoretical model and from these uh, uh, factors, we decided to uh, went deeper into two of them. The first one is uh, related to public policies that could foster and uh, help support the internationalization efforts of the small and medium-sized uh, companies. And uh, within uh, this public policies, we put together the educational uh, policies as well, uh, thinking about the role of the uh, university and the academia uh, when it comes to transfer knowledge to the community. Uh, uh, and in this case, this uh, community is uh, represented by the small and medium-sized uh, 
uh, companies, uh, as well as uh, we think about the role of the university uh, when it comes to uh, build a global citizenship uh, education, not only uh, within the administration course of the uh, university, but also in the uh, community where the university is located and how the university could help uh, to build an entrepreneurial a culture uh, among the students on in the uh, community as, as well. So uh, from uh, these factors, these 34 uh, factors, we decided to took this to, uh, sorry, the second one is uh, about the language skills uh, needed to, to face the international uh, market. So uh, these two factors, the public policies, considering the educational policies as well, and the uh, language skills are uh, the two factors we took from the theoretical model of the masterwork uh, to be used in, in, in this project and as a, as a part of uh, our uh, motivation to start this project, uh, which Kiria is gonna explain further. So over to you, Kiria, and, and thank you very much again. Uh, thank you, Hamon. Uh, as uh, Hamon said, can you please go to the next slide, Hamon, please? Um, as Hamon said, um, because of these two gaps that we saw um, in the literature and in the review, uh, in the results of his master's thesis, we decided to focus on these two variables that affect the internationalization of higher education and which are uh, intimately linked to the yes 3 d project. I'm sorry for the um, uh, um, noise uh, here with the neighbor. To um, discuss, to propose a, a project here in Brazil, uh, supported by FAPIS, uh, connected with uh, the uh, yes 3 d project uh, in, in Spain, to discuss the relationship between the internationalization of the university and uh, the small and medium and the internationalization of a small and medium-sized companies, relating this to the um, sustainable development goal number four, quality of higher education. Uh, next slide, please. And so how did we do that? Uh, we are in the first phases of the project. The project started this year. We are in the second phase. The first one was to uh, carry out a needs analysis of the small and medium-sized companies in the state of Espírito Santo, which is where we are located, um, especially focusing on the challenges faced by these companies regarding internationalization and having as a basis uh, the dimensions and the factors that um, uh, the, dissert the uh, master's dissert dissertation that Hamon just mentioned, his dissertation, the, the, the findings that were um, um, res that resulted from this work. And the second uh, phase would be to uh, think about the role of the university, in this case, UFIS, the Federal University of Espírito Santo, in the aid, in the fostering of these small and medium-sized companies. Uh, through projects such as YES3D and also uh, FAPIS uh, here in Espírito Santo, which uh, aims to um, regionalize the internationalization of higher education, taking these steps and the, the knowledge produced uh, at UFIS, which is in the capital city of the state of Espírito Santo, to small and medium-sized companies in the country where uh, the UFIS campus is not located. And the idea was to do this through outreach, internationalization and innovation projects. But because we cannot um, uh, register projects at UFIS under this acronym, uh, under these um, concepts, we registered this project uh, with the support of FAPIS as an outreach extension project at UFIS. And the aim was then to um, make links between the education and the business administration sectors of the university with these uh, small and medium-sized companies in the country of the state of Espírito Santo. And uh, a possible future step uh, for this project would be to connect these uh, findings and the needs analysis of these companies uh, with other ones around the world through virtual uh, exchange. Next step, please. Uh, well, the methodology we employed for the first phase of our study, which was the, um, the needs analysis and also the bibliographic research, 
was a meta-analysis of um, a corpus composed of 20 studies, 20 articles that were produced on or at the Federal University of Espírito Santo in our research group, um, uh, which has uh, Hamon, me, and uh, other uh, people working uh, at UFIS to illustrate and discuss the role of the university, in this case, UFIS, and the relationship with uh, uh, the internationalization process of these uh, small and medium-sized companies in the state of Espírito Santo and in relation to sustainable development goal number four, as we said. Um, and the internationalization at UFIS uh, of our uh, university was analyzed in relation to its triple mission of teaching, research, and outreach. And as I said, um, we can only um, register projects at UFIS under one of these three dimensions. It is either a teaching project or a research project or an outreach project. It is not possible for us to register a project under the concept of uh, innovation or internationalization. And so we took a decision to um, register this process, uh, this project under the um, dimension of outreach. Um, since the goal was to reach the community and to strengthen the links between the academia, uh, in this case, office, and the society represented, like Hamon said, by the small and medium-sized companies located in the country of the state of Espírito Santo. Uh, next slide, please. Well, the preliminary results of this phase uh, uh, and of the analysis we carried out in this, uh, of this uh, corpus was that um, the internationalization of higher education, in this case of UFIS, is related to its triple mission, that is, um, its process of internationalization is related to teaching, in as much as the business administration course uh, was uh, analyzed. Um, it is also related to research, um, in so much as the publications of the institution, especially those of the, our uh, research group, uh, were um, uh, analyzed and also in terms of its outreach and extension projects, in this case, uh, linking to the uh, YES 3D project in Valencia and the project in uh, UFIS, uh, financed and supported by FAPIS. Uh, next slide, please. Um, the preliminary conclusions that we are um, arriving is that, uh, as we said, the internationalization of UFIS is related to uh, sustainable development goal number four, especially um, uh, in, in relation to the possibilities uh, to promote the internationalization of small and medium-sized companies and to the extent that it can promote the internationalization of the curriculum, in this case, the business and education courses uh, at UFIS, and also the promotion and development of a global citizenship education, not only with future uh, businessmen and future educators that are being formed uh, at UFIS, but also with a bit of future global uh, um, businessmen uh, with this relationship with the community and the society. Uh, and we include here the term local to refer both to global and local uh, citizens. Next slide, please. Well, we would like to thank you very much for the opportunity to uh, describe our project today. And if you want to continue this conversation and have um, a look at our projects, publications, uh, members of the, 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 the group and the project, you're more than welcome to visit us at our blog. Thank you very much.